at Florida A&M. Music marches into magic. This band's known as the Hundred, unmatched in their power, passion, and precision. Michael Scott is the head drum major, the field general of this marching army. But when you look at our shows, you'd be like, wow, I have never seen nothing like that. I didn't even know it could be done. Let's get this party started! 430 musicians become maestros of the halftime highlight. The world famous marching 100 of Florida A&M. People getting their money's worth. Wildly innovative, they're globe-trotting performers. Marquee events like Super Bowl. and the Grammys. So electrifying, the band helps the school recruit even non-musicians at a time when historically black colleges are struggling. It is a leg up. When we use that to our advantage, you may not play an instrument, but that hundred, that band is the one that gets your attention. The band often practices seven days a week. What also gives them a leg way up 70% of these musicians played their instrument's first chair in high school. And each year, everyone has to audition. Two, three. But as freshmen, they all started marching with two left feet, even Michael Scott. The upper body and the lower body and moving together and just kind of just locking on everything. And I was just like, man, this is going to take forever. Like many of these kids, Scott high stepped many hurdles. In his gritty Miami neighborhood, many of his childhood friends are now dead or behind bars. Growing up in Liberty City was always a struggle. I came from a poor family, and so I've always had the type of mentality that whatever you want, you're going to have to go get it yourself. His dream of marching in the hundred kept him straight. Music was always that back door that I could always go to and feel comfortable. In this band, no one plays second fiddle. Everyone on campus knows who you are. Sophomore Jennifer Tyson on piccolo becomes a Pied Piper. I have little kids after performances coming up asking for my autograph. With his trumpet, Rhett Berman plays the field. Girls? Um, girls, yes, girls do like the fact you're in the 100. It's every band kid's dream. Fans going to the game just for the halftime show. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Tallahassee, Florida.